Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm showing you my Spider-Man Homecoming custom Lego minifigures. So these figures are actually some older minifigures. I made them in the past and as you can see this Iron Man, this is my profile picture from YouTube as you guys know and yeah they're just older and I really just wanted to review them and I just thought why not to review them now so without further ado let's just get started so for Spider-Man's homecoming suit which he made himself I well it didn't took me long to make it and it actually was the easiest suit I made for Spider-Man it was way easier than the Iron Spider suit or the Far From Home suit I'm making and yeah so now let's just start at the, with his legs so I just took a sand blue pair of legs and painted the red shoes on there made a black sole on the end you can see and also added a line here for his pants both sides and not much more so that's pretty much everything about legs so now let's move on to the torso so I just started up making here a red round line for his jacket for the end of the jacket which is a bit round at the bottom and then I painted his zipper on and painted the spider on his jacket torso as you guys can see I glued on some pockets which I made out of aluminium metal it's actually the coke can metal and then I painted a lego couch in red as you guys can see and glued on two wires painted them red and gold at the end and yeah so at the arms he has uh, the web shooters. I used um, a Lego plant, a Lego grass piece for it, and then cut it four pieces, glued two on each side on, painted them silver, and made a darkish red line, which is like holding the shooters together. And I leave the head red and just sculpted it on with Procreate his two eyes and they're 3D and then I just added this little wire on this side and on this side and then painted everything black and painted the eyes white and yeah so that's pretty much everything about his homemade homecoming suit and now let's just move on to Iron Man. So for the Mark 47, I did a lot. So I started off make uh, getting. Well, I just bought this Galaxy armor, and then I sanded it a bit on the top, and I glued on a piece of aluminium metal on here, and then it got like the top piece of Iron Man and yeah so that's the front and then I sculpted on these all of these pads which are like going down with Procreate and on the back I also glued on a flat um, armor piece and then sculpted it on these two parts and then glued everything together and I got the the armor but I just talked about the armor a bit later and let's just start with the legs so I took um, red legs dark red legs and then I started making his shoes I made some uh, lighter red I painted with lighter red and let the rest in dark red and you can see some details here under the knee pads the knee pads lighter red and a silver, just a silver dot, 
paint both knee pads and then the side more detail and then you can see the top of his legs the upper part which is in silver as you guys know with some lighter silver details on this half and then this side we got some more dark silver detail and on the sides wrapping fully around to the back and yeah so for the armor I already told you I took two armor pieces and I painted it red at the top here with a self mixed color and I think it matches really good with the Lego color it's not exactly the Lego color but I think it matches really good and then there's a lot of silver on his armor and then we got these little tips of paint where you can see where, his, where the light spreads out and I also painted his generator in the middle just paint it on and you can actually still get the armor off so you can just take his head off and then you can just take the armor off and yeah so under the armor there isn't a lot of detail it's just silver these two dots where the light spreads out just because here you can't see anything of the armor yeah it's just blank silver painted torso yeah we can just put that back on here and on the side you can see the shoulder pads from the armor there's uh, some silver some gold in the top and on the arms there also silver on top here and then some darker silver which goes all the way back here to his elbow pads and here you can see like a golden kind of S shape in gold the line with a dot also with light where you can see it comes out all the way to the back and here you can see some golden details these two lines and here like a triangular shape where it's also gold inside and then some silver on the side and some red again in the middle and yeah a bunch of lines and yeah and for the helmet I took a regular Iron Man helmet painted the eyes in light blue and then made this black line here which goes round and straight down to his eyes made the light here which goes all to the back repainted this here and made a lightish red here at the chin area and I'm painted it here lightish uh, red here at the top of the helmet and here's some dark silver gun metal here's some silver lightish red and yeah and here all to the back some more lines and yeah so that was pretty much everything about Iron Man and yeah so that's his face the regular Iron Man face and now let's just move on to the shocker so for the shocker I used um, regular Imperial um, troopers from these Death Star troopers the, the legs because they have got pockets and here you can see pockets here and the two pockets here and then I've painted him some grayish boots with a black sole here not much more for the legs just black then I got myself a gray torso for his hoodie which he wears then I made some random three black lines that it looks like more screen accurate you know that it got like these folds in there 
and I just make like here a, a triangular shape for his neck there and just paint it that brown and then I took a piece of cloth and then I cut it a jacket from this glued on four pockets here painted a silver zip and painted the whole jacket blue then I painted this top blue and then I made this 3D sleeve which he folded up a bit here and the arms were brown and then I painted some squares in there that it looks like you know like that net like these squares both sides and on his left side here he got his gauntlet where he can like shoot his lightning and for the gauntlet you can see here just some black I sculpted it actually and then I sculpted it here made some blue here and I made here a black area and here a black area right there and it's a bit higher here going up here a bit of silver paint everything in silver then and yeah so that's pretty much everything about the gauntlet on the back of the jacket there's not much and for his face I just used a regular the regular shocker face from you know the beware of the vulture set which came out a few years ago and yeah so that's pretty much everything about shocker so now let's move on to the main villain of this movie the vulture so the vulture was like a special figure to make because you know he got like the big wings and I usually never did these wings and yeah so let's just first start with the figure itself and then at the end I'll just show you the wings so I used some green legs and then painted these um, black lines here which goes to the top and then paint silver knee pads and then I painted on like these dots should be like these screws or something you know and then I painted his boots on in black non glossy black painted the sole in silver and then I glued on a lot of 3d parts so I cut it out these triangles out of a rubber material so they're still a bit flexible and then I painted them silver so these should be the claws you know and then I just glued them on these four on the front here and then I out of a Lego grass piece I cut out that these round pieces here that's a bigger one here and yeah just painted them silver out of the rubber material I um, Cut it out a square here, both sides, symmetrical actually. And then there is like another claw thing here, which I also cut it out. So it's not a claw, but it's just like part of the leg. Then I glued it on, painted it. Everything looks 3D. And then it got this little silver um, circle here, back. And then I also cut it two claws for the back here of the figure and also just painted them silver. Then I made uh, his belt, well, I just painted it, painted it in matte black and then I painted his golden belt buckle with a black line detail and then I moved on to his jacket I just took a regular um, darkish brown Lego a torso, then painted a golden zipper which goes all up to there and then you can see his fur here which goes all around here to the back it goes all the way back to the front and I made this with a um, 
with kind of like furry material and then I cut it out and then I glued it like together that it holds together and then I painted it uh, yeah and then I painted it in brown light brown and yeah so I think it looks really cool and then I made like his um, how like his security belt like where he hold where how the wings like his backpack with the wings like you can see the black uh, strap like goes all here and then in the middle these triangular triangles which are like from the backpack here the line here to hold his wings and then I think these silver things I just painted them on because they were on the action figure from him the I thought these were like parts of the legs like from the silver things which like comes up here so I just painted that on and on the side I just on the arms made two black lines looks like a pilot flyer jacket from these old style planes you know and yeah so the helmet was a galaxy helmet also from that galaxy guy from which I used the armor for Iron Man and I did a lot in him because as you guys know you can't you can't attach these visors these Lego um, biker helmet visors on there so I had to sand a lot on there and then I um, glued on this visor there and then I actually sculpted some more details here to close the visor so to, to give it like more a round shape like these pilot visors and then I sculpted his uh, then I sculpted on his beak right here you know and then painted the, hel the whole helmet in silver then made two dots in green for his eyes here and yeah I just used a black head underneath that it looks black and I painted the eyes just right on the visor because it just looks better and yeah then I took a wire again like I often use wires and then I glued that wire on here which goes all the way to the back around the helmet like in his jacket or backpack whatever just goes in there in the back you can see some black lines here and like here a little extension in the helmet and the side some black lines here and yeah so that's pretty much everything about the figure so now let's just move on to the wings so the wings were actually just a really big piece of aluminium metal as you guys can see all way through and yeah so I just started painting his wings um, on the aluminium metal and I just cut it out the whole thing and then I started painting it all in a darker silver then I made many lines tried to make them really symmetrical and the wings took me real long to make because there's so many lines and details on there and yeah so you can see like here on the end the feathers you can see like they're not feathers they're actually metal but chip yeah then you can see like that these edges like all cut it out near all and then I took a green color and painted here some kind of like L shapes and some triangles at the top and some squares at the bottom here and yeah just many details and I also cut it out two holes here where the propellers can where you can just see through you can just see the propellers and the propellers were separate pieces also from aluminium metal 
which I cut it out, glued together, and then glued on to the back here. I scoped it on this uh, jet pack thing where that's like the engine piece from his armor. Here you can see a bit blue. This should be like the light which comes out of the engine and some purple here and then you can see all green here and then just many lines and here's some more green then the feathers again this side and then just some silver details and yeah so at the end I just glued this onto the torso so I think it looks really good but the thing is just you can't remove the wings from the figure because they're just glued onto the torso but I think the wings got really good I think I've made them good and yeah so that's pretty much everything about this figure and the other and without further ado let's just conclude this showcase so I hope you liked the video like comment and subscribe if you want to see more, check out my Facebook, Flickr, or Instagram. The link will be down in the description. And I have already started making the Spider-Man Far From Home minifigures. And I actually wanted to re review them already. But I still have to do Mysterious Head. And I'm just working on it. And the review will might come in one or two weeks. Well, I hope really soon and I'll see you in the next showcase and bye bye